Greetings from two for Brazil. Welcome into ESPN FC Daily. Kay Murray and LME here with you. Brazil are through to the knockout rounds after a 1-0 win over Switzerland. A hard-fought win, shall we say. What are your thoughts on what we've just seen, LME? Casemiro with a late goal in this one. And what a goal it was. Even Roberto Carlos up in the stands there, smiling at that one. Speaking of Roberto Carlos, Casemiro turns into Roberto Carlos every time he puts on the national <laughs> team shirt for Brazil. Unbelievable finish. He's been great throughout the tournament. And, uh, you know, Kay, I think ESPN FC Daily, the entire crew, should be saying to the entire audience, didn't we tell you so? I believe Julian Loras would tell us later on. But, you know, no doubt in Brazil. Very resilient from Switzerland. They actually have a pretty good record against the Brazilian national team in all competitions. But this was just too much for them. And without Neymar, without Danilo, very impressive. Yeah, and I know, and we're hearing people as well, given that it was 1-0. Obviously, Vinny Jr.'s goal was not allowed in the end, offside from Richarlison on that one. But some are saying, oh, this is harder than you'd expect from the Brazil. It's favourites for everybody. But did people forget who they were up against? The Swiss side, who have been a tough opponent for so many in the World Cups that we've seen previously. Yeah, I have Switzerland getting out of this group for a reason. And the Swiss record in pre previous competitions is there for a reason. Like you said, Kay, this Switzerland side is very good. And you mentioned Jan Sommer a few episodes ago. He's an absolute machine in goal. He's gonna, you're going to need to like completely knock him down before you score against them. And it required a really good finish from Casemiro. Listen, there is no easy match at the World Cup. There may be some weird deceitful scorelines but this uh, tournament has shown us that anybody can beat anybody on any given day and Switzerland as you said has a very good record against Brazil so well six points and alongside France on to the round 16. But Brazil is not better without Neymar despite what no. some are saying is he Luis? No 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 he's not better without Neymar come on be who's saying these things stop it stop it put your phone down what are you talking about? Do some research. No. Do you, not, do you notice a drop off in their attack without him? I th Listen, here's the thing. Exactly right. Neymar plays a very unique role for Brazil. It's kind of like this number eight, sort of weird false nine position where actually, if you watch the first half once again against Switzerland, there were many moments where Lucas Paqueta, or the packet, as Gab Marcotti likes to call him, you know, struggled a little bit in moving the chains forward and finding that clinical pass. You put Neymar in that position, then the game is totally different. Neymar makes this team better in every single way. Having said that, the depth of the Brazilian national team is so good that they can get a victory like today against a very strong Switzerland side. But no, Brazil is better with Neymar, 100%. And obviously, we're hoping to see Neymar back in action soon. We'll see what happens when it does come to those knockout rounds. We know that Brazil are already through. We know that Neymar has been resting. Let's get the latest on his situation, shall we? Julian Laurent is joining the chat, someone who's always great to talk about Brazilian football with and always has a bit of a scoop on Neymar. After all, he gets <laughs> invited to his parties. You know, they're best know, mates. They go way back. <laughs> Julian, what's the latest on Neymar's injury? I mean, there's not much to report, really, okay, in the sense that he's continuing doing treatment and, and his rehab, really, to, to get the ankle unswollen. I don't know if that's a word, but, like, less less swollen, I guess. Uh, and, and, and then after that, seeing when he can start running again, when he can touch the ball again, when he can maybe mix up with the squad again. But right now, he's, he's far away from that. It's a good thing that they qualified tonight because they would have rotated anyway in the third game, which they will do now, you expect. So I'm not sure he would have played that third game. So if he can come back for the last 16, whoever they play in the last 16, then would be very good. That might be a bit too short. I think Brazilian fans have to, have to be warned that there's a lot of worry around his ankle, but he can also make a quite quick recovery and be okay for the last 16. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.